Kundes here, and welcome to a new Let's Play series for European Vessels 4 with the Rights of Man expansion. For this series, I will actually uphold a wish or a request that was made of me that I was asked when I asked a long time ago what achievements I should pursue, and I had one response that had asked for Luck of the Irish. And so, for you, I shall finally get around to attempting Luck of the Irish. I have chosen Desmond as the Irish miner of choice. He has, like, the best Irish ruler you can get out of all of these provinces, and Desmond and Ideas are the most interesting out of all of them, and I would actually keep them once I form Ireland. Um, I have already failed this start twice because of Raging England. Hopefully the third time's the charm. Maybe it will be, maybe it will not be, but from what I can tell, a lot of this start is luck, hence the achievement. So let us see, shall we be lucky this time? Let's find out. Lucky Irish is on. So what we're going to do, first and foremost, as Desmond, is uh, eat Kildara, because he's right there, I can rival him, and I can eat him, and it seems everyone who can rival me rivaled me, so all of you guys, you all stink! Yeah, that's right, I've rivaled all three of my rivals, borders, remove Kildara from the map is a great starting mission. Instant claim. No need for spy networks. Tyrone is a useful friend to have. Just useful. England is not is not hostile. England is balanced. He will not ragingly attack me. I might even be able to befriend him, but I'm not going to do that. I am instead going to try to befriend Scotland for now. And um, we are going to build one mercenary. So that we out-troop this guy when we declare war, which will be in exactly one month. Um, let's go to speed 3. We will not be doing anything else with our economy because our economy is trash. Our boats will go home at war but protect trade in the North Sea Node. Not that it'll matter that that much for our economy, but whatever. We'll take what we can get, right? We are December 1st. We are about to declare war. It is time. You still have no friends. No one likes you. We have our mercenary. Uh, also, I noticed that our hair is the same stats as our king. Which means it's perfect to turn the king into a general. We have one shock on the general, which is great. Um, we will go fight you. We will promise territory to Tyrone and not give him any. We'll allow the first expansion. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I was too hasty there. I didn't even click on Declare War. Let's go. Party time. Onwards, his face. Let's go. You are getting wrecked and wrecked. I don't know why I have more morale than you, but I do. So get destroyed. Goodbye. Uh, you're allied to England, which is annoying. But you're also allied to Tyrone, which is interesting. If England does not warn us, betraying Tyrone becomes very interesting. Um, so we're going to want to do that. Uh, but first we're going to start building a spy network on uh, Tuad Hum Huayn. Because this guy stinks and should be rightfully in our country. Is England like... Oh, he's just allied to this guy. So that's fine by us. England is not trying to uh, vassalize him. Royal marriage, alliance, enemy of enemy. Oh, to, uh, no, wait, that's Tyrone. England. Royal marriage, alliance. Oh, subsidies. Yeah, England is going full out. He is going to try to vassalize this guy, but usually takes a while. So we have some time to get to war with Tyrone. And probably by giving him no territory, that will ensure that we will eventually end up at war with this guy. Um, walls breached. Good. Good. Very good. Okay, we're losing some money, but that's fine. It's a very minor amount of cash. We'll be able to build a horse after this, so I have two horses. This will be very important. Hmm. England is not interested in my land right now, which is great. I like to rival because he's allied stupid Leinster. I mean, uh, yeah. But that is fine by us. That 
is usually what happens. Scotland, how close are we to a marriage? Talk to me. We're still pretty far. But it's gonna get closer as we eat some land. Supply shortage. This is fine. Siege is progressing nicely. We need a Jagillion. Poland has his PU. This is good. I don't really care either way, but it's happening. Um, supply shortage still. Siege is taking forever. Hmm. Alright. And I've forgotten to start the timer, so enjoy a longer episode. Provided we don't crash and burn. Okay, let's wait for the month to tick. Recall this guy. I do not want to lose a shot of Scotland friendship if I can help it. Give me all your ducats. Cease existence this instant. I will core it. And then I will resume improving relations with Scotland. We have gained inspiring victory. Tyrone, you will not have a marriage because you are going to get backstabbed so hard. And see, he's not even upset that I didn't give him land because I took the wargle for myself. Tommond, I will fabricate a claim on your face. And then we're going to have war. Right now. Like so. General O2 shock. That's dangerous. But you have less troops than us, and numbers do count for something. My horse was flanking, yours was not. I will stack wipe you, and then I will eat you. <sighs> okay. Get stack wiped. And we're good. Let's get our boats to get this coastal fort to fall faster. He does not have 11 boats, but we do. We are so boaty. Alright, Scotland, where do we stand on the marriage? It's close, but not close enough. We're still bleeding money, that's usually what happens. Because um, we can't, because, well, right now we're also reinforcing. We need to reinforce like 1.3k troops. And this accounts for actually more than our balance. So if we weren't reinforcing, we would be fine right now. So that's good. Does anyone have a claim on you, uh, Tommond? People do, actually. Clan Ricard has. So Clan Ricard could declare war. That could get me to Clan Ricard without having to uh, make a claim. Although, speaking of making a claim, I should have been making a claim on Sligo in the meantime. Something I have not been doing. We're gonna address that right away. Scotland is about to become our friend. This is good. Um, as we continue our uh, blockade of this guy. Facilitate the siege dropping. Hmm. Okay, Scotland. Come on, Scotland. Maybe one more month. We'll do it. Hmm. Yes, one more month did indeed do it. Recall. Scotland, let us get married. Yeah. And then I'll send you again as soon as I can, which will be July 8th. So next month. As we keep the siege going. This is so unusual. In my previous two attempts, England had warned me. So... Well, didn't happen, not complaining. Certainly great. Uh, Tyrone is allied to Leinster and Desmond. Ulster is allied with England. England has allied two Irish miners. So England seek to expand through... Uh... No, actually, they're in the list, but... Hmm. Where do you stand? You don't like England all that much because you've allied his rival. Okay, this guy has fallen. You're only at war with me. I can recall the Scotland guy. Probably resend him in time if I'm swift enough. Maybe. Get annexed. Give me all your ducats. 
Excellent. And indeed, as I was saying, resend him. Improve relations. I will now core this. I am not kicking them down because they will be made into states. It will therefore be very lucrative for my country. I will only kick them down if I absolutely must. But I refuse to until then. Uh, our claim on Sligo is advancing insufficiently fast, as is our alliance with Scotland. I can now rival Sligo and Clanricard. Okay. I need to backstab uh, Tyrone. But right now I also need a friend to keep me safe as I'm being super aggressive. Can humiliate rival against these guys, but I don't want to humiliate them. I want to, to kill them. Hmm. As long as England doesn't ally you, we'll be fine. Okay, the year has ticked. Scotland, where do you stand on being my friend? 41 out of 46. Maybe if I built another troop. I can afford another troop, and I want a horse. So I'm gonna build a horse. I'll get my claim on Sligo. And uh, I will recall this guy. I'll go build a spy network in Clannery Card, and I'll go get my claim on that as well. Uh, where does Scotland stand on allying us? 43 out of 46, maybe after the horse is made. Tyrone may declare war on this guy at any point, though, so we'll have to hurry a little. Hmm. I need to turn this into a state and full core it for maximum value. And now our force limit has gone up by one more, so we'll get a troop. Uh, this is good. I really want my alliance with Scotland, but... Does the troop help? Yes, it does, actually. It helped tremendously. Hmm. Okay, we're very, very close now. Did that tick? No, it did not. Next month, hopefully, because I am on the edge of my seat right now for Sligo. I just know that Tyrone will declare war as soon as he gets a chance. I want to declare without this guy. Okay, there we go. We could ally Scotland. And this will save us all of the headaches in the universe. Okay, Sligo, let's get you killed. Easy war. Get the hell out. You're in my land now. Goodbye. Okay, this is good. <sighs> going smoothly, going as it usually does. So far, at least. Usually what happens is that England does something stupid. Suddenly there's border friction, but that's acceptable. John Lancaster, that's good stats. Claiming the throne of Aragon, really? Holy crap, Aragon has a Lancaster. That's very interesting. Are you actually going to uh, attack that, though? Because the Air Ruler will do to Craven overestimate enemy strength. Huh, interesting. What's your personality, England? You're Craven. You will overestimate enemy strength. And you will also underestimate enemy strength. Whoa, you're... Craven, but bold! That makes no sense, England. You are a paradox. You are the best kind of paradox. I should be using my boats for the siege. Uh, I will fabricate the claim on Connaught. I will recall this. I will try to convince France I am a great person. France would be a very great ally to have. Um... Scotland is a good friend already. This is fantastic. I feel so safe. Ah. Yeah, my Scotland.
Scotland friendship makes me feel pretty good. The size of my army also makes me feel good. You have declared war on Sligo. As I uh, suspected you would. That is usually what happens. Is Leinster part of the war against Sligo? No, Leinster was not called. Um, we must always attack. Thing is, now I have two options. I can either unally Sligo to try to get to war to England, or I can vassalize. I can, I mean, I can unally Tyrone to try to get to war with him in five years, or I can vassalize Sligo and be at war with them right now. I think I'm gonna try the. Uh, Break my alliance now. And then I'll fabricate a claim on him. And my goal will be to uh, invade him when I get the chance. That way I'll be fighting also Leinster at the same time. So Sligo has fallen. I'm gonna kill his boats in case I get a free boat. Do I get a free boat? I did not get a free boat. Most sad. Okay, I'll just eat you for now. No need to be concerned. I won't eat all of your ducats, apparently, but I'll eat most of them. Thank you for your infinite generosity. It gained, like, all of the inflation in the universe, but I don't care right now. I'll take your province, Kanat. You're the next on the chopping block. Where's your port? Port is here. Let's come and kill this guy. I should be coring this. You make a fine point game. Thanks for reminding me. It's already part of my state, which is great. Again, I don't want to kick it down unless I absolutely have to. How big are the rebel stacks? The 8k stacks are manageable. The 10k stacks really. The 10k stacking killed out are really scares me. Because I am not yet strong. There's still a lot of autonomy in these provinces. Uh, I'm really bothered that you've allied England. Huh. Yes, once we eat Clan Ricard, we will have eaten everything that we can eat. Uh, for the time being. Because Tyrone will block us from threatening Scotland. I mean, Scotland is also 13 throws, which is really dangerous to even consider fighting right now. But uh, everything else is allied to England. Or I have a truce with this guy. Hmm. Hopefully England doesn't vassalize either of the two before it's too late. Uh, English opinion of Tyrone, there's an improved relations. But I believe England will be unable to vassalize them. Tyrone really digs England. We are kin. Which is going down. But there's no improved relations. Yeah. Receiving subsidies. There is more effort to claim throne. That's hilarious. And there's the allied to rival. So as long as these two are, like... As long as these two are rivals... And I think you also rivaled Ulster. Yeah, Ulster rivaled both of these guys. England will be unable to ally Tyrone, I believe. Although they're improving England's opinion. And Tyrone, uh, yeah. Although I have to be careful if I do plan to try to steal Leinster this way. England might just land some condottieri. I've had that happen in my last run. It was very unpleasant to see suddenly, like... 11 or 13 Englishmen show up and prevent me from eating everything. Um, we're losing money. That's fine for now. We're gonna gain a lot of taxation money very, very soon. And then we'll gain boats. We'll make boat money. Okay. I should start fabricating a claim on Leinster as well. Might as well. I want to be at war with them in like five years. That's going to be important. Recording that is a very slow process because it's a state core. But at least we'll own all of Western Ireland. 
after this, which is great. We will fully own our state. Come on, Conrad Kart, you can fall. Okay, I'm ready to get a claim on this as well. Fabricate claim, Tyr Egoin. I'm butchering all of the names again. I apologize to any who may be offended by my horrible pronunciation. Uh, improve relations with England? I don't want to do that because I hate England and England kind of hates me as well. Although one Diplo reputation is a good gain. Could improve my prestige, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, Papal State Influence. Possibly interesting. Don't know how much that's going to be relevant. Um, one Diplo rep in England not screwing with me is a great idea, though, so I will do that. I will begin improving relations with England. Even though it is making friends with the enemy. We'll backstack them in due time, but for now, if they're my friend, I think they might le they might be less likely to uh, give Condottieri to... Uh, Leinster. So yeah, we're gonna keep it that way. We've killed the boat. I did not make a boat though, but that's okay. Uh, these guys are quite unhappy about being uh, added to my empire. We'll recall the English guy. And we'll send him again right after this peace deal. Get eaten. Give me most of your ducats. And uh, coalition? No coalition. Safe. Eaten in perfect safety. We have eaten every single rival we've had since the game started. Fear us. Okay. Now let's keep telling England we're a great person. So that maybe he starts thinking we are a great person. We have uh, quintupled our province count since the game started. Uh, hopefully that'll be pretty good for us. The nobility gains influence. Oh yeah, estates. I forgot about those. Call it diet. It's useless. Uh, seek support of the clergy. That's still useless. I could get 50 admin points. That would be helpful, actually. Grant monopoly and get a nice check of seven ducats. Oh, I am so rich! Okay, boats, go get me some boat money. Okay. And we do not have a center of trade now. Nope, we do not. Not a single center of trade in Ireland. Such garbage. Okay. Now, uh, Kildarian separatists are pretty high, as is our war exhaustion. I'm kind of... I have more points, and I have a mind to try to not kick it down, but hopefully I can not spend Diplo points. That would be great. If I can just prevent that from uh, ever spawning. As my overextension goes down, and as I leave troops there, and as my war exhaustion goes down, actually, this number will go down to a much more manageable 4.7. And that's 6.7 years. And 6.7 years, 4.7 will become like 2 point something, and it may actually never revolt. So we're going to try for it. This changes everything. The Renaissance has appeared. Huzzah! We're still losing some money, but not as much. Uh, our nice little five provinces is great. Hmm. What to do? What is England doing? England is not warring anyone. He is claiming the throne of Aragon. I could get ducats or gain... Ooh, I want 50 admin points. Especially considering how many I've spent coring all this shit. Uh, I can get my claim on Leinster, fabricate claim on Lakelin. Get here. I can recall you. I cannot fabricate claims on any other province this side of the, the pond, aside from English ones. Keep improving relationship with France. If I can royal marry them, maybe one day I would be able to ally France, and then I would feel very, very safe. But we shall see. Who knows how things are going to turn out. England is allied to three people. If I also managed to ally England, though, interesting things would happen. 
The English ruler is infertile, minus 20. England does not want to uh, royal marry me because he is infertile. Really? Well then. England, Henry Lancaster is garbage. I actually really hope that the Iberian wedding happens at this point, because I dread the idea of, like, England having a PU in Aragon. That's a really scary thought right there. Um, that said, me and Scotland together, we have 23, 20, 21,000 troops. Uh, we are not yet able to even touch England's 32. But that's the dream. We are going to aim for that dream as much as we can. Oh, crap, this is up to uh, 60. But it's down to 5.3. War exhaustion has went down. Terma has gone down dramatically. Timorian separatists. Also a pain. I may have to kick them. I don't want to kick my riot, my rebels, though. How long until this truce goes away? Three more years. In three years, we can try to go to war with these guys. I don't know how I'll manage that. Maybe I'll build a fort in Sildara. Hmm. Actually not that bad of an idea, using all of this money. I may actually do that, just to block this guy's path, so that they can't reinforce one another, and I can fight them independently. How long does it take to build a fort? Maintenance 1.6, that is so expensive. That is so disgustingly expensive. But we'll do it. We'll build a fort in Sildara. Will prevent this guy from reinforcing his friend. If my understanding of fort physics is correct. And then I'll be able to just eat this guy. Wait, am I building a spy network in France? What is this? That's not how you make friends. Improve relations is how you make friends. England may get there to uh, a royal marriage. That's gonna be interesting, though. If I do manage to ally England, they will probably not intervene when I start eating Leinster. Hmm. And then it'll be the Greater Britain Co-Prosperity Sphere that will be will form. Yeah. Although if I ally France, then I will never ally England in the history of ever. Oh, nobility wants some provinces. Uh. Here, nobility. Make uh, Eastern Ireland stable. Now I can gain a really good general. And I can gain 150 military points. How good is my... Oh, you are amazing! And we can even tech up! We are ahead of time, guys! We are far ahead of time. The Irish nobles have been granted Sildara, the former seat of our first rival, our initial conquest, the most prestigious province currently in possession of the greater Desmond uh, Petty Kingdom, or Duchy, or Earldom. What's my state? What's my... Uh... I am an Earl, yeah. This is the first uh, conquest of the Earldom of Desmond. Yes. Okay. And England is still neutral towards us. Marriage may happen, may not happen. We do have a lot of aggressive expansion. Who knows? Our castle is building. It's going to be done on June 4th. And when does this truce end? Uh, May. So the month after the truce ends, the castle is finished. And then we'll be able to go to war with Leinster. We're actually making money right now. That's hilarious. Probably because the autonomy has decayed sufficiently. And, uh, yeah, oh, these rebels are still building so quickly. So friggin' quickly. That is not fair. Maybe I can bump up stability by one. Does that help? 15.1, 7.4, 7.7, 8.6. At this point, these guys will never spawn. Could boost it again, probably, to make them start decaying. 
But I don't want to do that. But I do want stability to be at least at one. It's going to be a very valuable investment. We are going to set our focus to uh, admin because we are doing terrible in that front. Uh, England is almost at 100. They will still not marry us. Once December ticks, actually, they'll be over 100 because improved relations and aggressive expansion decay. And boom! Mission complete! Oh, we've, uh... We've barely, but we've maxed our, uh, mission. Remove Leinster from the map is a tempting mission. I'm gonna recall this guy for now. France marriage. They will accept it. If England will not accept it, France will. And we do want a France friend. Spare no expenses, gain more admin points. We still have a bunch of uh, provincial unrest, but... Uh, okay, now I can rival two more guys. I can rival Tyrone. Were you vassalized? No, you were not vassalized. Not yet. England is doing a terrible job. At vassalizing you. Hmm. Whoa, you've allied even Brittany. What the hell, England? You're allying like all sorts of weird shit. I would have considered a no CB on Brittany. Uh, no, I wouldn't have. Not with the Burgundy Alliance, but, uh, you know, when we're stronger. Alright, France, marriage. Let us have glorious French Irish babies. And celebrate over the death of England. Killing England is a great source of celebration. Actually, just being allied to France will probably keep England off our backs for the rest of the campaign. Until they are on our own terms. Uh, next month? Next month? Almost? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, France is being embargoed by England. Okay, that's, yeah. I thought I was looking at uh, Tyrone for a second there. Because I want to invade them. Okay, royal marriage with France. Yeah, we're married to France. They would accept an alliance. Let's ally the France. Let us be allied to the France. Okay. Come on, alliance. Yes, we are allied to the France. Okay. Looking fantastic. Uh, move Leinster from the map is very tempting. I've lost trade protection against these two guys. That is fine. Now England... Oh, England actually likes us with a heart now. Marriage? Yeah! I like you with a heart too, England. See, now we're allied to all of the strong people. We have formed a greater Desmond Crow Prosperity Sphere in Western Europe. This is a pretty good opportunity, actually. We have gained... We keep gaining and losing trade protection against England. Stop spreading pirates around. You bastard. But that is fine. Let's keep improving relations with England. England is allied to Desmond, the uh, rival Leinster. That's going to be fixed very, very soon. We are now in 1453. France calls us against Burgundy. Sure, whatever. Don't even care. Is it a war that they have started? Defender against Burgundy in the Burgundian conquest of Nemours. Burgundy is like, I can kill France. Wow. Okay. Sure. You keep telling yourself that, Burgundy. You're dealing against John Desk. I speak from experience here. Actually, who are France's friends aside from me? France has befriended Scotland and Castile. France, France is friends with Castile. What the hell were you suicidally declaring? Underestimate enemy strength. That is why. That is why. You thought France was weaker than they are, and now you're probably going to pay the price. Yeah, Burgundy has fled, and he's going to get absolutely pub-stomped. 
Our truce with Tyrone has ended. And our castle is finished. Very, very soon. How, what's my force limit? Nine, I can get a merc. Let's get a merc. Because this guy has seven troops. I don't like these odds. We've gained immediate rival against our guy there. Okay, we have nine troops. And the castle is ready. Hey, Tyrone! I attack now. Let's fight this guy. And apparently I've reached the end of the episode. So for now, I will eat this guy. And then... Oh crap, I have to go stack wipe him. Let's just get this squared away quickly. Before it is too late. Oh crap, when... Wow, ah, this might be a mistake. This might be a terrible mistake. We do have four shock, but we're attacking in the woods. This may be a terrible mistake. Or it may not be. Holy crap, we're strong. Let's try to stack wipe them real quickly. This has me on the edge of my seat. And... Stack wipe? Yes, no? Toaster? No stack wipe? What is this? Come on, stack wipe. No stack wipe. Crap. We're gonna need more mercs. Okay. I can't pause now. This is not a good place to end. Okay, there we go. Stack wipe. Okay, I don't need this merc anymore. I am going to leave one merc behind and send these guys over there. And now... Now... Properly, I will thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time where we will conquer these two guys, finally. See you guys next time.